All right, it's June 6, 2022. We're in Aberdeen, North Carolina to continue on our quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started. We're right here at South Street Social Club. We've got a mural on the side of the building here. It says textile, lumber, turpentine, yeah. Pine trees were all over this area, so that was big business back then. Got a train right here in town cranked up. I, get, I First, I thought that was just a train for decoration, but it's actually a working train. I guess they're getting ready to go on through town there. Yeah, they got a guitar, old caboose for the Aberdeen and Rockfish. I guess they're getting ready to pull out. They got the Page Memorial Library here on this wall. And I was looking, and that looks like it. Right off in the distance there, if you can see it. Yeah, I believe that's the same building. Yeah, there goes the train. He's backing up and going on around the corner here. Maybe we'll catch him over here. I think you say that. So we on South. Looks like a restaurant, but all the chairs are up right now. The South Street Social Club has got their streets out, getting them clean. Looks nice. There goes the train across the side there. There's the other side, We've got embroidery, embroidery bleh, engraving and t-shirts over there. We got uh, this restaurant here at El Chapin, El Chapin, Chapin is open. Yeah, got nice decoration, Ooh, that's loud. Bear Roots Color and Hair Design right here in town in Sand Hill Realty. Let's see what they got here while the train's moving along. $8.99, East $75, $350. Got a little ranch right there here in town. Yeah, I love them old trains. Beautiful, beautiful. Got the bull room on the other side. Looks like they got some decorations and stuff in there, boutique. And then another salon in that yellow building right there. There's a look back. That's how US Highway 1. If you go up there and turn left, you go back to Pine Bluff. We just left that area right there. Got high octane. Octane. This little building right here. It used to be a gas station. So they got that fixed up and it's open. So they got a few customers in there today sitting in the garage area. So that's cool. When I first got here, I thought that was the only part of the town, and it looks like there's more down here. I might have went to the one of their side streets, I'm not sure. Let's go up here and check it out. Go up here by the old Little Red Caboose. Yeah, this is Main Street up here, West Main Street. There's the depot right beside the Little Caboose we just passed. So let's go up here and turn left, see what they got over here. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Man, they got some beautiful landscaping here in this tree. That's nice. Right here at the garden room. Fountains, gardens, planters. And you can go in there and get you some stuff to do your own house. And you can come right down here. Get you some lampshades and mirrors to do the inside too. It's a nice building, but they need to put the glass back on that side and fix that old plywood up. Put an awning back up there. That'd look a lot better. Got some bushes growing out up there, or vines. You don't want that to get carried away. You'll have a mess. Got Renee's custom draper here, so if you need to get your house fixed up, they got you covered. You can throw them pillows all over the place. You know how you girls like to do that. They got plenty of pillows to do it with got a trading company here looks like they sell some furniture and other items inside candles and things planters this is treasure alley antique thrift shop and consignment in this building here i'm coming here and get you a deal ain't no use to spend a lot of money on you especially if you got a little kid just buying a used little plastic car instead of a new one and then you'll save some money and save on the environment as well keep them landfills empty got the flags up today yeah, that's a beautiful building i just noticed they got this 
looks like a house but I see a cross on it so I don't know if it's part of that church or not but it was a house in Davidson North Carolina it attached to a building kind of like that that's what caught my eye yeah let's go on out a little further yeah there's the little library right there love that plenty of parking here in town as you can see this store here five ten cent five and ten Lee store Inc. Now, I bet that was a busy place at one time it's empty in there now Let's roll along the cross. <laughs> I like that. It's not a Jeep. What is a Hummer? Yeah, Lee's five and dime. It's empty now. Somebody needs to come back in here, but they probably have to put 50 and 100 these days. Much of stuff cost. <laughs> Lord, I think I paid, what, four, four dollars for gas a day, and everywhere you go, everybody's jacking their prices up. Some out of necessity and some out of greed, I imagine. You got a flower shop here for you, florist. Got it just decorated up beautiful here in town. Got some seats for you to sit in. High Point Hobbies in town, so. Got a game table in there and all sorts of games all through there, so it's a good place to come in. Got a retro game lounge, too. Got some old games you can play in there. I can see the old units there in the window. Remember those? I bet a lot of you do. I do. Yeah, another furniture store. It looks like a design center. So let's see if I got a name. Nope. Got it on him. Ain't got no name. But uh, they look like they do you good. Good job here at 114 West Main. Got some furniture out here. You can sit on way. Wife goes in there and figures out how much money she's gonna spend, or your husband. It could be vice versa. You never know. <laughs> or you can come over here, which is what I would do, and hit some sweet Carolina ice cream. Yeah. Or you can get ice cream for the kids and get you something here at the workshop tavern. Workshop tavern when it's open. And got a barber shop. Every town's got one. And this one's called Blues Crossing, which, by the way, is what this area used to be called back in the early days when they were coming in here to get that resin out of them trees and cut them trees down for lumber and ship them down to probably to Cape Fear or River until the railroads got started and shipped them out that way. I don't know, all kinds of different ways. Rivers and railroads was away back then. Yeah, you never had pizza like this before. Come on in here and get you some. I guess, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's in a National Register building, Farrell Building, 1900. Yeah, let's see, I see it now. Let's see, I see it now. Pizzeria, what's that? Grazia? Grazia? Am I getting that right? I always get them wrong. Mason's Restaurant and Grocery right here. That's good. I'm going to cross over. This guy's doing some work here today. Cleaning up the sidewalks. But as you can see, we got another antique thing. A military, the bunker. Military surplus right in there. Another studio, hair gallery. Some treasures and a little store out that way. All right, let's cut on back in. Take one last look before we head on up the road to Southern Pines. Yeah, I'm impressed with this little town. I thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller than it is. Got a few shops over there, but I'm not gonna go over there. Looks like the railroad buildings were back over that way. Let's shoot over. Why the traffic get stopped? <clears throat> Back here to Union Station, Aberdeen, North Carolina. Looks like they're using it as a railroad museum now. Sand Hills, Sand Hills Central Railroad Club works out of there and Aberdeen High School Museum. So that's great use for a building here in town. There's some of their old railroad buildings over there. Yeah, what a great little town. Glad to stopped in here. Hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour. Of Aberdeen, North Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.